All right, this video is very big. Hey guys, welcome to Little Panda Forex. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I made $30,000 in less than one hour. Trading the Forex market. I'm gonna show you step by step how I made this much money. And it, <laughs> this is a lot of money in my old job. This was one year's worth of money, you know. And it's only fair if I show you guys the actual thing on MT4. Come on, focus. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that is $30,000. Just there. And to be honest with you guys, this wasn't a very hard trade. It was indeed a very easy trade. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. So Euro USD, this was the four hours. You have to understand, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I did nothing. I was, I was not well, um, so I saw my doctor prescribed me some medicine I was good on Friday and this was the first opportunity and it's the very first uh, trade on the account as well and it was a massive winner looking at euro USD we can see that this market was very bearish for a while and this is the four hours time frame by the way um, so what happened here is we broke structure not just here but this candle here broke structure and we went above here break another structure you have to understand when market big structure a starting point um, the starting point was this candle here I don't consider this as an order block because it's blue if this was red perfect so I'm just gonna go with the fact that we had this imbalance sitting over here okay so this whole move that broke several structures uh, started from here price left behind this little indication which was that here we have liquidity liquidity i'm gonna put uh, uh, the pound sign to say it's liquidity we can see the price came broke structure and and as you can see it's if we can put this trend line here we can see it's got a very nice trend line to it as well you know although we don't trade trend lines it's good to have an indication so price is very bullish this is a bullish structure you know look it's going like that like that like that like that like that like that okay so let's remove these other things and let's jump into the actual mock structure so here we have the asian high and the asian low the asian high was taken obviously because this is a very bullish structure i'm not looking for sales only buys i don't want to do counter trending uh trading um all we can see all of these Im uh, imbalances everything has been fixed price is very uh corrective and is moving up and up so what happened here price came took the Asian low and then it bounced uh, what is this telling us well if you go to the five minute price left behind this imbalance over here okay now let me remove this other thing so it's easier to see but I'll annotate it so you guys can understand so I'm just gonna put a um, liquidity taken okay so we know that so liquidity was taken oops let's put at the bottom from this area moved pr price moved up now we have this area where there is imbalance so price is likely to come and correct that okay and we need to see how price react once it gets to that area all of this we are not interested so price came and it closed back above it and again and again and again it keeps going up and up okay now what happened price is coming down to the area okay and then there was news two us news uh, let me show you both news came out at 1 30 uk time on friday uh, non-farm payrolls and an employment rate unemployment rate was uh negative it didn't meet the forecast um so it should have been 3.4 but it was actually 3.6 so there's more unemployment okay and uh, the non-farm payrolls expected forecast was 205k but the actual result was 311k so this was better than expected so now we left in a limbo because one news is good and the other news is bad so what do you do you just follow mock structure so all this news hasn't came out yet okay you will see when news comes out you'll see the candle okay all of this price is still respecting that imbalance area okay boom that was at 1.30 when news came out. If you can see, it was actually at 1.35. So news came and then boom. When price did this, what do we have? We have a very clean break of structure. 
price took the Asian low liquidity, the gap was filled, price didn't break below this area, okay, and price went up. When it came to this area, I start looking for buy opportunities. I went to the 15 minute time frame, and this was the 15 minute candle. This was very bullish, okay? So I put my Fib tool from the high of that candle to the low, and this was um, basically the, this area was the 50%. So price had a possibility to come down here before moving higher. So I wait for price to come, which it did. And as it touched the area, it bounced back up. So when price came to this 50% uh, of this candle and then it bounced, I entered my buy position. So I wanted to enter 66.66 .66 lot size, but on my funded account worth, uh, my Forex run is limited to 50 lot size, so I had to open two uh, trades, so 33.33. .33. But it's essentially one trade, but I had to divide it because of the limit. And where was I targeting? If we go on the four hours, okay, you can't see here because this is showing you a uh, thing that has played out. So let's say here, okay, this is my target because I expect the price to keep pushing up after this very strong push. And yeah, so we had a uh, liquidity sitting here as well. You might say, okay, when price came to this area, to this area why did it go down because if you look left we have an order block so now the juice of this order block has run out price came back to the 50 percent and it bounced and at this point i looked uh, I, I entered buys so now price has no reason but to go up and we have some liquidity sitting over here in the form of uh relative highs okay so what happened i just just <laughs> waited and boom price actually went much higher than where i wanted um i calculated that if i wait a bit longer maybe like five minutes longer i would have made forty thousand dollars instead of 30. but i'm i'm still happy with my 30 because it, it hit my target and i'm very happy and this happened in less than one hour okay less than one hour that is unbelievable making thirty thousand dollars in less than one hour in my old job that's <laughs> one year's worth of salary uh, so yeah, this is how I did this trade. As you can see, we started all of the analysis from the four hour area, wait for a lot of confirmation, and then we traded it. I didn't send it in the VIP group because it was too close with news, and it's it's a bit aggressive, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I don't like sending them very aggressive trades. Whereas when I do it myself, I feel confident. But when I send it to the group, uh, I feel that some of them are gonna gamble and they could potentially lose their account. Because when news comes out, things can go, or, you know, it is very uh, aggressive. But still, I followed a lot of things. I followed good risk management and everything. And just like that, I made uh, $30,000 training a forex market in less than one hour with one pair, one trade. So sometimes this is what you need, a very quality uh, setup. All week, I did nothing. I was just still. <laughs> So I'm blessed, I'm very happy with this and the reason I'm sharing it with you guys is not to brag or show oh I'm better than you blah blah blah, it is to give you educational content. Whenever I was learning, when people shared the actual profit and how they did it, I would learn much better if they just showed the charts and no profits. Because uh, we're humans, we, 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 are, we are greedy, we like to see money to get motivated. So uh, this is your motivation. So this timetable it's showing you the different market sessions. So Sydney and Tokyo is basically Asian session. So as you see, London session starts around 7 a.m. and it finishes around 4 p.m. And the main trading session is between London and New York. These are the two biggest market. Um, so New York starts around 12 and these are all UK time by the way. And it finishes around 8 o'clock. And then from there onwards, it's when the Asian session kicks in and that's when price typically ranges a lot it doesn't always do it but it happens a lot because right now what's happening around the world it is a good time to get into forex you know learn it learn before you earn don't make the mistake i made where i just put three thousand dollars without knowing a thing and i lost it within a day so don't do that put the time and effort watch my videos on the channel it's really educational there's a lot of other channels use websites like babypips.com google other stuff 
put the time in and learn. This is a craft that once you learn, you will become a human ATM, so you will make money so easily. But once you know about risk management, technical analysis, all of this stuff, which takes time. So please guys, learn, then earn. Don't do it the other way around. That's how you're gonna gamble your money and you're gonna be on the streets. You don't wanna be on the streets. You don't wanna go homeless. It's not a good feeling. I've never been homeless, but I can tell it's not. Cause I've got a lot of poor people in my country back home. So I know the feeling. And hopefully this was useful. Comment down below what other videos you want to see. Uh, drop a like on the video if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.